Welcome back, everybody. We are here for the second, second time, um, raising money for the Trevor Project for the holidays. Um, I am Silverstreak. We are going to be playing a community-voted game since it is Train Tuesday. After we defeated Choo Choo Charles, we are going to be playing Nancy Drew, Last Train to Blue, Toon Blue Moon Canyon. Um, we ran into some troubleshooting because this game is hard as heck to capture. Uh, but we've, we've gotten it all back up and running, I think, uh, and should be able to play. Uh, I actually, while well, troubleshooting, realized this is the Nancy Drew game that also has the Hardy Boys in it, um, which is wild. Uh, so we will go through that. Um, general content warning for folks, since we are raising money for the Trevor Project, I want to give a shout out to what they do and what their, mi their mission is. Um, they focus on crisis intervention and suicide prevention for LGBTQ youths. Um, I think I said that right, LGBTQ, yeah. Uh, and uh, and they qualify youth as anyone under 25. Um, they have saved the life of a, a good friend of mine. Uh, I find their mission very important, but that does mean we are gonna be talking about, unfortunately, suicide and other content. Uh, if that is difficult for you, I totally understand. You do not have to stick around. If you're able to watch this and feel free to hang out and have a good time, you do not have to donate if you don't want to. If you would like to, you can do exclamation point donate um, and you'll be able to see that. Um, if you or someone you know or love or care about um, is in need of their services, uh, you can point uh, you, in your in chat, you can do exclamation point Trevor, or you can go to the trevorproject.org to see their content. Or, but, excuse me, trevorproject.org. Um, if for some reason you are in need of similar assistances, but you're not sure if the Treasure Project will be able to help you, whether it is because of your location, your age, your orientation, you can also do exclamation point resources in my chat to see other resources, including befrienders.org, which will get you help that you need. You are important, you should be here. Um, so please, if you need help, get help. So, all of that intro out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and switch scenes. We're gonna try and play this game. See if this works here. Yeah. All right. Whew. Welcome to my latest case, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. To Let me know if the audio makes this wild because I can't do a lot to control it. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, click on tutorial. Um, chat, junior detective or senior detective? Keep in mind, we will not be finishing this game today. You know what? While you all decide that, I'm gonna hit the tutorial. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery. You're going to step into my shoes and be my eyes and ears. It will be up to you to decide my every move. Click on next to continue. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. We'll use this room as an example. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen and you'll automatically move in that direction. You can turn off this auto move feature in the game setup menu. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow. I always carry my magnifying glass with me to scan for when you want to go back to where you came from or when the magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. Now turn to the right, step over to the table beside the bed, and roll your cursor over the key that's on the table. See how the magnifying glass turned into ah. a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick the key up. Click on it and see what happens. Good work! You're a natural. Okay. You just picked up the key to see what's in your toolbox. Feel like we're good. We don't need the tutorial at that point. Yeah. Just click on the tool I and you new game. Welcome to my latest case. So Let's I've got one junior detective and one senior detective start, vote in the in the room. Detective. Um, so let's do an eeny meeny miny mo. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. Good hollows, let it go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Senior detective, it is. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. That's the young woman who invited everyone. 
Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited Hardy boys. And I've Crossover. Joined forces with the Hardy boys. Oh my God. I just hope this doesn't. Turn Sam and Dean Winchester as young boys. Attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. Oh, Wish me luck. Love, Nancy. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray, I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West, you are just awesome. And Tino Balducci, only the most famous police detective in the country. Oh boy. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend, Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, <laughs> we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. I'm actually Why? surprised. To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley. The I'll man who it originally second, yes. owned this train. Because, see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was was on board and he was dead as for Jake Hurley he had disappeared from the face of the earth oh and two more things before he disappeared Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world and the train he owned this train his wife I'm trying to figure out if they actually have a young woman voicing this character or someone doing their best to sound like a young woman She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? What the hey, well, what's going on? Ten minutes in, we got a murder. People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. No need to panic. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? Take a nap. If I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. Ah. So you think her disappearing like that is some kind of publicity stunt? So you think her disappearing oh, like that is you. just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in front of all of us minor celebrities. What was your name again? Nancy Drew. You and I have actually met. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. Oh, wow, that's gave right. some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. You remember me? No. Aw. Oh. Thanks, Unstable Deuce. Yeah, so, uh, what I was gonna mention, I have played quite a few Nancy Drew games, uh, when I was a much younger AI. Although, the ones that I played, I remember it being more animated. Like, not, not just as in, like, oh, they moved around, as in, like, the characters look like they were drawn, not CG models. Um, so this is rad. Uh, and, uh, honestly, like, these games were all good, at least back in the day. I don't know if the new ones that they made are good. Um, I, I have not seen or played any of the new ones in the past couple of years. Uh, but these, these games, there are, what, two dozen of them? I'm looking it up. How many Nancy Drew games are there? Not including DS. For the PC, there are... Sweet Greek Googly Moogly. There are 33 Nancy Drew games on the PC. Not including uh, some released in 2008 and 2009 called Lights, Camera, Curses, and Restoring the Danger. Uh, and then for the DS, there's actually quite a few. There's four DS games. That's the surprise. 
Culinary has only ever seen this game played. Yeah, it looks like um, there was a big hiatus in games. The last one was in 2015, and then they released one in 2019 called Midnight in Salem. Um, I don't know if it's a new developer or what, but either way. Uh, what else do you know about Jake Hurley? What else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst, Nancy. Come yeah. here. Uh, excuse me for a second. What you got, guys? Hey, Nance. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci. And I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. They will do mentioning that you can't purchase seven ships due to content re is, is there, uh, what, what specific content is the problem? Did you talk to him? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. Yeah. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting uh, Ah, okay. Thanks, Lestable Deuce. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. ATAC? American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Joe, let it go. What'd Charlena have to say? She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. You have a what point. about you, Nancy? What do you think? I kind of agree with Frank. You've got to be kidding. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Yeah. Maybe he knows yeah. something we don't. Um, Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. All right, I'm letting them Great. finish the dialogue. Catch you later. So, Unstable Deuce in chat mentioned that um, the Her Interactive, which is the main, I believe, publishing and dev arm that does the Nancy Drew games nowadays, um, they do not allow sale of Seven Ships, uh, which is one of the Nancy Drew games on their site. I had asked why, and, he, and Unstable Deuce mentioned that it contains blackface. Um... Which, man, there's so many things to talk about. But if for some reason you're not aware of what blackface is, it is usually a white person or a person not of color wearing makeup of some kind to make them appear black, African-American, or of another descent. Um, sometimes either with uh, actual full-blown racist undertones or with unknowing racist undertones trying to do something. Either way, the act itself is inherently racist. Intentions meaningful or not. So... Um, Smart of them to, I guess, not want to proliferate that, uh, especially if it's embedded in some way into that storyline that you can't really edit it out. Uh, Sable Deuce mentioning that it contains someone doing blackface for uh, Jamaican descent. Yeah, I can understand why they, they cut that out. Oh boy. I remember the phone. The phone is usually a hint line. Very embedded into the story. Yeah, I can understand why they wouldn't sell that one. Dear valued customer, Leecom Telecommunications, tele temporary unavailable to provide you with any email access. We're sorry for any inconvenience this is causing. Unless, you, of course, you're a hacker, in which case we're not sorry at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, camera? We got... Oh! Hey! I <laughs> send it to Bess. This is usually a hint line. Hello? Hi, Bess. George, get over here. It's Nancy. It's about time you called. 
What's up? What's up? You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. Oh, like you're not just as curious as I am. She's been begging me to call you ever since she got here. Only because you've been driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy Boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Lori Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I couldn't care less what Lori Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Bess, calm down. <laughs> Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. I'm sorry. You know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Bess. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you not. You should Be seriously asleep. think about doing some major highlights in that color. What color is it? Adobe beige. Nice try, Bess. What's going on, man? Our hostess has disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no Lori. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. Yeah, that's My what I think. My thoughts exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman I named cannot Camille, describe how happy died, I am to not have to And he <laughs> eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Whoa, spooky. Have any theories? My first order of business is to find out what happened to Lori. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Bess, do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy, okay? Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? Never heard of the place. Why? That's where the train I'm on is headed. Apparently Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? Ew, creepy. Lori Gerard finds it a little unnerving, too. This is definitely the same Nancy Drew voice, though, from the games that I've played. Uh, Brunseeker Crush, you had mentioned that the audio was a bit quiet. Is it still quiet for you? I better go. Remember, when in doubt, call. Okay, we know all this. This is great. Oh. Because I'm a senior detective, I don't need a task list. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's fine. I got a pencil. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Oh, um, I should mention, these games tend to let Nancy die, uh, usually very violently. So one of the, uh, one of the redemptions that I have for donation rewards right now is for me to, uh, have Nancy, uh, do my best to have Nancy die. Um... So let's see if this is one of those things. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. I'm sure it's fine. Right? That 
doesn't look good. Oops. I mean, not get anything? Usually, uh, they're usually with like an obituary or a phone call. Uh oh, it's stuck. Well, all right. Be that way, game. Go back in the long. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. So yes, if you would like to donate towards the Prepper Project, and uh, lead me to find ways to murder myself. Outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. Sure, but let's do it anyway. Oh, I won't let you. Engineer, what do you want? Hello, I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Lori Gerard has disappeared. So? I just thought you might want to call the police or something. Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now my orders are to get this train to Copper Gorge non-stop. And until Miss Gerard tells me otherwise, that's what I'm gonna do. Shouldn't you at least call the authorities? It'll be my pleasure, just as soon as Miss Gerard orders me to. But now if you'll excuse me, I got me a train to run. Oh yeah, she totally faked it. A square and a duck. Quack. It looks like this thing opens up, but how? All right, fine. Quack. Okay. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. Lippy fins, freshly canned salmon. Salmon? Salmon? Wow. Fresh from the hand from the deep. Don't want to take a hand from the deep. Yes? I hope I'm not disturbing you. You are, but I'm quite used to disturbances. You see, I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end, everywhere I go, my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West, and because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is, well, it's a gift. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named... It's also very interesting who died about that the lip sync is pretty well done. Not just from the movement, but like the... the or not just like from the timing, but also the movement of the mouth. Where was he from? East Coast. Philadelphia, I think. His parents were British aristocrats. Sometime in the 1870s, he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. So he went west and became a miner? All anyone knows for sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones. Did you just say gold nuggets? To purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated and its location quite unknown. 
Well, I'll let you go. That would be nice. Oh, jeez. Sorry, lady. Ooh, hello. Pretty. Looks like some kind of gemstone. Puzzle. Wait a minute. Alright, so looks like this should be here. This looks like it should be here. That means you should be here. Fantastic. Left pickaxe and lamp with buell for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? Okay, don't know what I needed that for. This must have been the sleeping car. with that puppy come on <laughs> sorry nancy all right <laughs> uh so again if you would like to donate five dollars or more <laughs> to the trevor project you are welcome to have me uh unfortunately lead to nancy's demise What have you got? Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it didn't sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Well, whether Lori disappeared by force or by choice, I cannot we've got to do stress enough how much her. this looks like Absolutely. the young version of the Winchesters from Supernatural. See you soon. You better. I'm, I cannot look at any of the sleeping car rooms. That's some bullshit. I need four numbers to unlock this, and there's, what, 10,000 possible combinations? <sighs> Guessing could take me a while. What's the, uh... What is the Deus Ex code? The 04... 0451. It's not going to be this, but we're going to try it. Okay. 
Didn't think so. Can I look at any of these windows? No. Okay. Oh. Culinary, I did not give you a shout out. Let me Culinary is a rad variety streamer. Recently did some uh, cooking on stream, which looked great. Tale of two dolls. Oh, I do have to read this. Ill-tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't tell get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. Just want to go straight back to bed. Oh, I know that feeling. Well. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard. All that came out was one part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yelling out wide. Edna, the terrible puppy. The weird train car. Hey, come on over here. Hi, you're that Nancy person. How you doing? John Gray. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've seen your TV show. Then I don't have to explain what I'm doing. Yeah, you do. Right now I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. Do you really think that a moving train can be haunted? Sure. A train is basically nothing but a living space on wheels. And just like a house or a hotel, its walls can capture and hold energy, however infinitesimal, whatever its source. You see, what to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. This is surprisingly theory, accurate please. to a working theory that some ghost hunters have. That's strange. That's very interesting. It's all very scientific. But the fact is, Lori's missing. And I, for one, am doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. Charlena Purcell thinks Lori is just playing some kind of joke on us. Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. End of comment. What do you think of Tino Balducci? I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. So I have to perform under Take that kind of pressure. Take this time to just mention, you know, a cab. Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course. Like everyone else who reads the tabloids. It doesn't appear that anyone aboard this train is her friend. So, I would say this concerningly, but I'm worried that it's meant to be said snippy. Let's find out. Maybe she doesn't have any friends. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you can be too rich after all. I won't keep you any longer. Take care. Ooh. This looks like some sort of game. Out. This is kind of cool. Okay. Wipe out. Please have an end. I did it. Okay. Wonder what's in here. Anton race. G G E P A.
Uh, I don't remember most of my music. Don't do that, please. Those microphones I set up oh. over there are very sensitive. I just about took out my eardrums. I'm sorry. You can play that thing when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, all right? Okay. Well, we know the music goes there at least. Looks like Camille was oh, teaching herself thank you. how to play the piano. Actually, I only really need this. I don't remember the rest. Thomasina O'Neill. Another, another puzzle? It's locked. Looks like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. Hmm. One duck. I wonder what's under here, and what the deal is with those weird-looking bolts. Hey, Nancy, right? You've got a better memory than our hostess. <laughs> Who doesn't? Amateur detective, huh? Never thought about becoming a real detective? You know, like me? I don't know. Do you like what you do? I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? Yes, I sure did. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. FBI had no idea who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. I heard they stopped because you accidentally rear-ended them. You heard wrong. You see, Nancy, when somebody does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is hmm. try to tear them down. Reporters, late-night comedians, even some of my fellow officers, all have been spreading vicious lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. Anyway, you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Where do you think it came from? Probably been lying there for a hundred years. May have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. May I see it? Sure. In fact, here, keep it. Wear it around your neck or something. That way, when people ask you where you got it, you can tell them Tino Balducci gave it to you. I, I think, Tino uh, if I remember right, asking people questions differently can lead to different answers, and including, in some cases, having people cut you off, or at least in the previous game. So this guy seems to be, like, the more you play into him as... Um, I don't want to say an idol or anything like that, but at least don't, like, cut him off. He won't cut you off. Especially considering that the Hardy Boys weren't able to get the... Oh, thank you. What else can I do for you? So, what do you think happened to Lori? Well, she could have been kidnapped. She could have been tossed off the train. She could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. So, you're gathering facts? Of course. It may not look it because that's my style. I'm a low-key kind of guy. But hey, don't worry. I'll know the facts when I know the facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? You don't like her? I can't stand those sappy books she writes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. Have you talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I'd talk to him would be to arrest him for fraud. Thanks for your help. Anything for a fellow detective. Why 
wonder what Jake used this for. There's the pickaxe there, and that's what our clue talks about. Right? Left pickaxe, lamp. Cool. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like an old fashioned cigar box. Wonder why it's locked. I know this one. Unfortunately, this one is for, for me, for silver. All right, so I don't remember the periodic number. Where are we at here? 47? Oh, Hey, I remembered 47. All right. So is it 47 degrees? Oh, this is going to be figuring out what type of diamond is uh, purified with 47. Uh, purple in color. Any number of crystalline rocks. Uh. I'm looking for something that mentions silver or 47. Chromium. Aluminum oxide. We have to do math to max these up, then maybe? Um. J.H. For Jake Hurley, obviously. Must be Jake's insignia. Sleeping lizards? Another gemstone. Eliza Sandberger. symbols look like the ones I saw in that snow. Ah. The 
three. The harp. Cherry. Hinton asking, is this what it looks like on the inside of Choo Choo Charles? You could wish. I don't think we have enough of whatever these are. Point. Surely there is no greater joy for the 19th century woman, young or old, than to bring a piece of linen to life with needlepoint, requiring only needle, thread, care, and imagination. The word sampler comes from the Latin word exemplum, which means example, that which serves as a model. The best samplers not only allow their creators to recall what particular embroidery stitches um, look like when executed properly, but also demonstrate to the world the mastery of an importantly womanly skill. Indeed, many a gentleman's head has been turned, as many marriages fortified by a well-crafted stamp. It is acceptable, based in these modern times, for samplers to pick many. One classic is long and narrow band sample. It features bands of flowery border designs as well as rows of numbers in the alphabet. Another classic is the spot sample. Delightful display of random placed images. Or Most motifs are naturalistic objects that have specific language. Here's a list of common motifs. But it's a buff. That will probably be important later. You know, I kind of wish if it didn't if it didn't have a way to or if there was not a way sorry if there was a way to skip dialogue, I might start over in junior uh, mode just so that I have the checklist. I feel that's useful. Um. But it's fine. I wonder if that's a developer. Uh, Unstable Deuce. Uh, am I planning on finishing this stream, this game? I am not planning on finishing it in, uh, in stream. Uh, at least not now. Um, if Quandary Quest were to ever return, we might uh, we might go through these games. Um, but for now, turn around. For now, this is just for today. And probably another half an hour to an hour. This headache, unfortunately, is not getting any better. While I'm wandering around here, folks, 
Uh, this is a reminder that we are raising funds for the Trevor Project. Is this Jake and his wife? Yes. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing. Uh, they are a very death, important parody, which uh, runs a crisis died, intervention and, and suicide prevention hotlines, among other things. Thank you, Drake. At night, um, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Uh, and uh, we've already raised six hundred dollars. You people are amazing. Um, but uh, my final goal for the week will be a thousand. Excuse me, six hundred fifty dollars. My final goal for the week will be a thousand dollars. We've already blast blast through my my goals as it is, so I'm not terribly concerned if we don't hit that goal. But it would be wonderful for us. Um, draw. Um, you can do exclamation point donate if you'd like to donate. Exclamation point Trevor if you'd like to um, learn more about the Trevor Project, or if you are worried the Trevor Project may not be able to serve it, uh, to help you or or uh, for any reason. Exclamation point resource for additional reasons. An eagle. Where else have I seen an eagle? Talk to the party, and we've learned. What have you got? See you soon. You better. Uh, yeah, and see what we'll do is feel free to pass it through in the Discord. And I feel like I don't have any of the items that I should have. It. But Much. Oh good, I can okay. Okay. Hold on. Oh no! Well, good to know. Really only needed. That one and then the cherries. So 10? We can do 10. Oh, we can do 7 and 10. There we go. That square and that duck look very familiar. They sure do. Like steam pipes. Um, excuse me.
Hmm. You know. To make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon, those are all gemstones, I think. First, you know. Colors hmm. have to do with silver. This is helpful. Orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Wish I could write. Why would you not write the sequence? Chat, someone, can someone in chat put orange, blue, green, red, purples, yellow? Orange, blue, green, red, yellow, orange. I can't, I can't use a notepad or notion on this because the, the game freaks out. You know what I will do? I'll take a picture on my actual phone since I can zoom out. Thanks, folks. Why would you why would you write this and then not the actual combination? Nancy, you are a terrible note taker. Yeah. They might. Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Okay. diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders, but I have no idea which one goes where. Time to go start picking up those gemstones. Where in the duck were also important. Gemstones around here. Yeah. 
Better not mess with that puppy. If anyone remembers where else we've seen gemstones, I will gladly take the information. I can't look in those cabinets. Fine. Dear Jake, I have sent you two lamps you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place the carbide in the lower chamber, water in the upper chamber, and use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the bed of gas results. You'll see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of In your last letter, you sent a quite despondent old chum. So it's understandable in view of your failure to break it rich. But I am living proof of how quickly misfortune can turn into good for I suspect five years ago that my attempt to produce aluminum would instead produce calcium, uh, calcium carbide, or that calcium carbide when placed under water release released steadily. Suddenly, I was surprised, but happy owner of the of patent for an in, inexpensive way of manufacturing any flammable gas. Just became wealthy, then I said, blah, blah, blah. Always your friend, Thomas Wilson. Looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. Maybe I'd better keep this. Yo can't do anything with leaping lizards? All right, so oh, one and what? One and four was it? So I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's let it then.
So four and then one. Well, then how do I get to the... I need another coin is what I need. Jake's pickaxe goes. Yeah, but we don't have Jake's pickaxe. If I had a lamp, this is where I'd put it. If I had a spyglass, I'd put it right here. Thirsty no. I don't know what that means. That's no good. Remember, when in doubt, call. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the oh. I don't need to talk to anyone at home. I am open to minor backseating in the essence of time. If anyone has any hints or guidance they would like to give. I feel like I should have started on Junior Detective just because of how my mind is working. Oh. Let's go journal. Tell you what, let's do this. I, I was almost thinking about changing the game just because, again, this headache is starting to kill me. But let's see, can we? Welcome to my latest case, dear Hannah. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives. I can't about skip. We'll see if I can skip any dialogue. If not, where? The... Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful. person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. That's see if we can skip once we get past everyone. this. Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invite...
pride in me. And I've always wanted to join forces with the Hardy Boys. I Fancy just give us the classic hmm in this game. So yes, we already heard it once. Publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. All aboard! Wish me luck. Love, Nancy. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray. I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West, you are just mm -hmm. awesome. And yep. Tino Balducci. Only Whatever you say. Only the most famous police detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend, Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see, one day yep, in 1903, yep. uh -huh. his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was was on board and he was dead as for jake hurley he had disappeared from the face of the earth oh and two more things before he disappeared jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world and the train he owned yeah, this just train more. his wife camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields it was rumored to be haunted <sighs> of course it was She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the Burnish world? What the... Hey, what's going on? People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. No need to panic. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? If I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is okay. a young woman you can't whose skip only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. So you think her disappearing like that is just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in front of all of us minor celebrities. What was your name again? Nancy Drew. You and I have actually met. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. You don't remember me, do you? No. Okay. All right. So what we are going to do, since we can't skip this stuff, is we are going to change scenes right now. Uh, my brain is not working in the extent that it needs to be to make this game work fully. I am enjoying my time with this game. I still firmly believe that uh, the Nancy Drew games are... Fantastic adventure games, uh, very good mysteries, well worth your time. Um, I might go back to that. or maybe I'll drag Retro in at some point and we'll just run through. Uh, whew. How long, what time is it? 4.30. Hmm. I might, with how I'm feeling, I might call it here. Let me, how are we, how are we doing, folks? All of you that are watching, if you want a little bit more? I can, I can do it for. Let me see. No, Roman says no eating anytime soon. Um, probably gotta wait for Kia to get home. I do need to feed the dog. Hey. Um. Tell you what, let's check out a little bit. Let's check out. Um, the final station. I've had this game forever. Update my stream title.
once again as I am waiting for this to load. I'll turn off the event. Oh, I never turned them on. That's on. Uh, we are raising money for the Trevor Project. Uh, if you or someone you know um, could use their services, please reach out. They are a wonderful charity. You can find out more about them by doing exclamation Trevor. If you are afraid, uh, not afraid. If you are, if you need assistance, if you're having suicidal thoughts, if you're having a crisis of time, um, and you're worried the Trevor Project cannot assist you, whether it is of your region, your orientation, your age, or for any reason, um, people do care. You can also find additional resources by going to frienders.org or going to information point resources in my chat, and you will see options available to you. Um, thank you all that have been here today, whether you've donated or just hung out. It is all appreciated. And I'm going to switch it over to the final station. Hopefully this will capture easier than the other one did. Nope, that's that's Nancy Drew again. That's not what we want. Ah, final station. Very totally different from Nancy Drew. <laughs> Sunseeker Crush says, I left to take a shower and come back to see chat yelling at Silver to eat and rest. I understand. And I will. Uh, uh, after I deal with a little bit more time. All citizens aged 16 and over must attend the annual second visitation drill at local response center. Hello. We're early today. Eh. Garden's not here today. Appeared somewhere. All I know. Come here and work is hour.
Martin disappeared in the basement. Guardian construction engineers, mechanics, and builders are wanted. Ten years minimal experience required. Metropole lower section sector accommodation, meals, double pensions are provided. That does not apply to settler families. Ooh. Oh, hello. Vacation's over, I see. Boss isn't here today. No need to hurry. Feeling this toilet paper. Oh! I locked the door by accident. Didn't peek at all. Sure, this is a good idea. Not the best train operator. What if something goes wrong? Calm down. I'll keep an eye on him. James, it's a very important train. I know. Paul Anderson. Uh, blocker code confirmation. 755. Hello. You were away. They installed new blocker. Boss left his code in his office. Kept it handled by the train. I love a game that lets me use the numpad. Is this another spooky one? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know anything about this game other than I've owned it forever and it's very highly rated. And it's on a train. That's the extent of my knowledge. The train's not in great condition. Experimental model. Frequent operational failure. We'll need to set it up manually. It overheats. Move. We'll need to deliver it to Will Stream. Or over from the board. You order a new numpad? Takes a full day to get there. A double overtime fare. Yeah, the blocker. Excellent five. It was horrible. Wait. Rest train today. Hello. How was your vacation? Eh. I don't have the blocker code. The boss has it. Out for lunch. You can wait here or look around the city. Very he's close. New blockers. There's twice as much work to do. Oh, I should mention... Sorry, Rich. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, if this game interests you, we have four more codes for this game to give away. Um, the next four donations of five dollars or more will get you a free copy of the.
for a game that showed weird zombies at the start, it seems all right. Is everything gonna go to shit? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm off today. New cashier is awful. Get rid of him and find a new one. Little bee. What you doing, little girl? You know I don't feel great? Is that why you've been hanging out all day? Communication problems of the West Coast. Area next to the border. The first contact are unresponsive. Waiting on. Okay. Yes. You're distracting me, sir. I can't take the elevator, but I can take these stairs. Couldn't find an uh, approach to Adam. Like his father. What do we do now? Oh yeah, this does remind me a little bit about Teeny Tower. Just a little. Oh. Sorry. Trying to slip my mind. you take the key from my suitcase? Code blank. In the locker. Don't see anything, okay? Yes, you are right. I'm sorry. Hell. Just feeling stuff from the car's hood? Here from Morgan Stern. Find these two screws I like the look of this game a lot. Hey friend, need your help. Can you stretch your coin for my beer? Yeah, it's up to you. Put your head down. I would like to pet the cat. It's unfair that I cannot pet the cat. But I will pet this bee. Hello, bee. You're a good dog. Five eight. I at least want to see what the loop of this game is. Problem, sir? Yeah, I have a problem. What's up? Sir, the schedule screen timetable hasn't changed in 20 years. that happen? Uh oh
at all. Trevor's belt. Love and disappear in the west. There's a borderline. Schedule train is gone. Hello? Hello! Code? Oh yeah, the code. Uh, there was a manual somewhere on how to print it. Can you stand here? In time, we'll take a walk around. Do we know what that locomotive is powered by? Nope. Through the scanner. Faster. Listen. Cancel all the tickets to the cell. I need to get back. It's important. Okay, fun with no issue. Thank you. No details still. Any word from the council? I think they already evacuated. Can we get there? No, we need to go north. Is closed. All destination. Okay. Definitely some sort of future date. Good afternoon. No, we don't serve that. Sorry. Long, can you ask the kitchen where is my meat? Ooh, that darn triple steered steak. Been on it for hours now. Can I go tell him that? No, I cannot. No, I'm not going anywhere. No one listens to me at home. But think about this young man. We have the guardian who's meant to save us in case of second losing case. Why this council build this giant underground shelf? When you have a point. Just gonna steal all this gear? Sir? Oh no one, okay. Okay. Alt, what are you doing here? The railway worker. Okay. Well. Alright then. Just gonna go. Three, four, two. Uh, Amanda has left. I'm hopeful she was not the one shot in the face. Where are we going? Why did they cancel all the routes? 
What? All routes to all destination. Even. I don't know anything about this. Central station. Central station in Metropol. Why is that? Only locals can use it. Shit. Interesting setup. Those? Yeah. Uh oh. I'm sure it's nothing. Paid? Thanks for trying to help, but it looks like they won't let us. Further. Fantastic! I'm late for sure. I know. Yes, I don't have the authority anymore. Military's in charge and the general's waiting for you. This is not going to end well. No, I don't know what's going on in Redmond. Marcus, this is an order. You cannot debate. Access level from now on is B, independent, without operation coordination. A, firearm carry permission. Okay. Oh, halt. Burmese off limits. Access code? Okay, you may end. Not blood. I don't know what it is. Most of my staff has fled the city. The only wants to stay here. Worst part is nothing we can do to help them. Oh boy, water. Friend, give me some water. Uh, I will try, sir. Let me take him. You don't have to explain it. I can't. Oh boy. That's me. Bunch is a bunch. Or they're back. I have that shotgun. Tell you. Come in. He's here. Uh, they will be here in 20 minutes. What was your destination? Will stream he's today. Will stream is no more, son. That was the whole mountain region. We need a train for an important cargo delivery. Being connected to the train as we speak. Deliver it to New Cost Field and await further instruction. We all do, but orders in order. Ten minutes, sir. New route is hardly affected by them, so you can counter dividers. Say all you can, but that's a secondary objective. Head out. Good luck, son. Well, that's a sudden shift in game. I thought we were just going to be, like, carting people back and forth. 
Feel that they are close. Finally. Well. Oh boy. Oh boy. In front of seizure, taken to the infirmary. Six six three six. Sorry. Think about it. Cargo escort. Leave to the train. All right, we'll make it to the next station, and then I'm probably going to have to call it just due to my uh, headache getting worse. Nope, that's nine, not three. I'm seeing three above six on the screen, but it's not where mine is. What if Tiny Tower but long? You're not wrong. I am digging this. Again, if you would like a copy of this game, $5 on Steam right now on sale usually looks like 12 but if you donate $5 or more, you get it as part of your donation today. The next four don donation. Secret operation. Gentlemen, oh no. Gentlemen, where where did you go? Did they jump out of the train? Is that what I'm seeing here? arrives. I have the code. All right, we got to go find wherever HQ is. Oh, I've got a gun and no bullets. This is us, Edward. Lord, are you a rescuer? Okay, I got it. Sure, I'm waiting on the train. Nope. Six, seven, eight, five. Didn't mean to do that. Up. Oh. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Oh, and the code changes sometimes, so you can't cheat. Please let there be bullets in there. Yes. Breeze, first you answer. Who are you? I'm a train drunk. Okay, waiting for you there. You got it, buddy. All right, don't need to go through there. We are going to have to call it here. Um, this has been a lot of fun. I'm surprised we beat Choo Choo Charles. We got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, there's checkpoints here. I might, uh, so uh, I will likely check this out again on Friday, um, which is, the theme of that game is fuck, I don't know. Uh, so fuck, I don't know, Friday. Um, we will also likely continue and finish Titanfall 2. Tomorrow, we are starting a little bit later. You know what? Hold on. We are starting a little bit later around 1 p.m. Central Time, um, with Way Too Much Food Wednesday, uh, which means I will be, once again, trying my hand at Cooking Simulator. Cook, Serve, Delicious, three, and, uh, let's see, Battle Chef Brigade. Um, I will have uh, donation incentives for you to choose um, recipes in Cooking Simulator and what I put on my food truck in Cook, Serve, Delicious. I don't know that I'll be able to do anything for... Uh, Battleship Brigade. I, however, I do have 10 keys to give away for Cook, Serve, Delicious 3, and I'll be giving that away to uh, the first 10 people that donate $5 tomorrow. Um, I will give away those other final station keys if we go through the Cook, Serve, Delicious keys, and we will go from there. Um, outside of that, we have reached $650, people, over uh, two times my initial goal for the week, $50 past the stretch goal. Um, $350 left till we hit a thousand bucks, which is amazing. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun today. I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope this headache. Is fun. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go feed the little dogs. Um, stick around if you're watching live. We will raid some of the bad. If you're watching an archive on my channel, hopefully this made some sense. Go ahead and watch something else on the, on the channel, and I will talk to you soon. Other than that, thank you so much. Be safe and be kind to one. Bye-bye.